Hello boys and girls, welcome. Today we install some injectors. All right, for the newcomers, in a previous video, one of, one of the previous videos, um, I did a conversion. These TGVs are from an 07 STI. This intake is from an 06 STI. The car it's going on is, it's an 06 STI. Uh, so converting from side feed, which is 06, to top feed which is 07 and up so this fuel rail this fuel rail here that's actually from an 07 but these um, ID 1050 cc's fuel inject uh, injectors and I had to order them for an 07 here let's take a look at the TGVs so if you're interested in this how I've done this basically took the the butterflies out clean those the tab whatever you call that that was in here cut it out grinded the port to a smooth finish and closed up the hole from the shaft from the butter from the the flap uh, closed up the hole by doing a cold aluminum stick welding or whatever you want to call it brazing aluminum brazing came out nice these were also cleaned up i gotta say it came out pretty nice all right so today we're going to be installing these 1050 id 1050 fuel injectors as you can see they already have their own o-rings on both sides We've got four of them we're also going to be doing some i guess wiring i have no idea I did not look at the harness, my stock 06 harness yet. Okay, so this is the hardest of them all because it's kind of tough to move the fuel line, the fuel rail, I should say, out of the way. So already the inside here, it's already been, I cleaned it several times. So just to make sure, and obviously the top here too, that's got to be clean. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil the cardboard and take a tiny bit amount just run it over the o-ring on both sides very little too much is no good Okay. There we go. Pop right in. By the way, I got my camera back. I've been using my phone for I don't know one or two of the previous videos. It's been kind of a pain in the ass. But this is actually, they replaced it because the one that I had before was defective. Anyways. So a little bit of oil. See, it pops right in. Without oil, it would not be that easy. Okay. I don't want to force it. There we go, this one went in. Found the bolts.
so I did one or two. This is the original one. That's the new one that came with the pack or with the injectors. This one here, I did not use any of these, meaning I didn't cut the wires at all. Let me show you. So I took a small flat screwdriver, grinded it down so it's much smaller on both sides. So then you can see these uh, plastic tabs inside this here. So slightly pulling towards, my, towards me. I'm moving these tabs to the right. We'll try and there you go one one see how it just kind of disappeared and another so you're moving these tabs away from there's a little hole here you're just opening it up now when you install now you know you would um, cut these and insert these new pins and put it in, in the new plug but and the the connection does not matter it can go this way or this way the polar polarization doesn't matter injector just just needs a signal and just power basically so anyways you just pick one see one one wire is thicker the other one is thinner um the way i do it is i put the thicker one closer to the tab Basically, what I did the first time, I tried fitting it different ways. Okay, it doesn't stay in. Let's flip it. This sleeve is in the way. Just looking for that click. Actually, I'm going to pop this in this locking tab. No, no, let's see. There you go. Actually, it's a good idea to do them both at the same time. Which I didn't do again. I gotta move this sleeve back. See, it's still, this one's not coming out, this one's locked in. This one's still, I need to push it in more. I want to squeeze the wire too much. You know, you want to. What if I can unlock it? Actually, never tried it on the new one. Don't even know where the tab is. It's all because of this sleeve. You gotta blame it on something. You know, maybe some lubrication. Lubrication makes everything better. There we go. See not coming off. Let's do one more. Hopefully it will take less time. Just moving the tab away, the plastic tab away. There we go. So I'm going to push to lock. Now looking at the one that I've done. Okay, I'm gonna go in like this. No, the other way. So these this side needs to go here. Okay, so we're gonna take the new one, flip these. Remember I'm the way I'm doing it, it doesn't really matter, but I want them all to be the same. 
the thicker wire which is red in this case is going to go closer to this locking tab which is here and they're not going in what's going on I think some lubrication is in order There we go. That's it. No need to cut any wires. Okay. Without this being on the engine, I don't remember how this went. Okay, I'm pretty sure this ground wire was here. Looks like it was here. That's really all I can do, then this whole thing goes on top of the engine when it's still on the engine stand. So you just install the whole thing. Alright, so I guess we are done for now. New injectors are in. This was easy. We will continue when the in when it's time to put the intake back. I'm going to figure out all the vacuum hoses, all these different uh, connections that are different now. Um, I don't even remember where these go. Got a better visual on the injectors. All right, this is it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.